Good morning, everyone, and also good morning, Colleen. I'm so happy to see you online because I have answers for you. Colleen sent me an inquiry yesterday or the day before or sometime in the recent past, and I have answers for Colleen. So there you have it. For everybody else, good morning and welcome back to Coffee and Headlines. Welcome back to my voice, too. I think we're back to normal. No more coughing or no more clearing the throat, or at least I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Here we are, Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together live on Facebook, where we love to feature news from our city, state, and country. We love to find out what you're up to, what your plans for the day, week, month, year are, what questions you have about Puerto Vallarta, how to best connect with our city as our community, as a community of English-speaking locals. So we try to connect whatever dots we can and whatever else we make it up. No, I'm just kidding. We don't make things up. We don't like to do that here at Coffee and Headlines. But here we are, as always. Um, I uh, would like to invite you to let us know if you're new, and we'll give you a nice little welcome if you write the word new in your comment. And <clears throat> if um, you have something important that you wish to share, I would like to encourage you to add a capital letter Q at the beginning of your comment so that we can take a look at that later on in the broadcast. And of course, your feedback is always important. So it really helps a lot for of me to be able to tell the difference between comments that you're sharing with one another and comments directed to yours truly, which are the ones where we are looking for cues at the beginning of the comment. Today, we have a few news items and um, we have some announcements, and of course, we are answering Colleen's question and another viewer's question. So let's dive in. I think I was able to reconfigure my push button device, my stream deck. Let's see if it's working. Bam, there you go. So we start with news that have to do with a drought. Usually we begin reporting drought problems throughout the country at some point in the spring. We're still in the middle of, summer, uh, of winter, and so this year may be different because while Puerto Vallarta is not experiencing water shortages just yet, the National Water Commission has reported that 82% of the country is already experiencing drought in varying degrees. Now, what does this mean for us? Well, for starters, it means that managing our water consumption is a full-time responsibility not only uh, something that we concern ourselves during <clears throat> the dry months. And it's worth also knowing that of the 125 municipalities in our state, 105 are already experiencing drought at, of one level or another. Saved by the Bell are still the municipalities of Puerto Vallarta, Capo Corrientes, Tomatlan, La Huerta, and Cihuatlan, as we can see on this map, we're talking about the coastal region. But it's also worth mentioning that 
Another problem that arises from drought is the increasing number of forest fires. Uh, Governor Alfaro expressed his concern on his Facebook page yesterday, indicating that the upcoming drought season may be the strongest one the state of Jalisco has endured in many years. So it is comforting to read that the state is aware of this and is already taking preventive measures in forests where drought and fires have been a problem in the past. And now, let's take a quick look at this before we head over to the weather. It's the month of love, and in my first music appreciation presentation of the month titled Off the Beaten Score, we unpack a handful of amazing love songs from the musical stage and screen, but not the ones you probably already know. Instead, I've chosen some of the most beautiful, lesser-known songs of the repertoire. We will uncover the various dimensions of love, from passionate encounters between people of different ages to heart-wrenching tales of love interrupted by fate. Off the Beaten Score isn't just a presentation. It's an opportunity to discover hidden musical gems. Join me for an afternoon of discovery as we unpack these lesser-known yet profoundly moving musical masterpieces. The meeting is, as always, at the Joint Boutique Hotel and Cowork this coming Thursday, February 8th at 5 p.m. Tickets are available at the hotel's front desk. See you there. And now we move over to the weather where we have a question from Snarky Weatherman who says, if the sun went supernova, do you think you'd have time to appreciate the pretty explosion before you died? Well, as I recall, I think there is a few seconds worth of time or maybe more than a few seconds that it takes for a supernova to reach the, from the sun to the earth. So we may have a few seconds to say our I love yous and then go to the great beyond or whatever. 24 degrees right now. Humidity is low at 50%, which is lovely. Um, <clears throat> good day to be out and about. And of course, I'm getting into the good or not so good habit of going to the movies on Tuesdays because it's two for one at Cinepolis. Not a bad deal. Today, we can expect a humid day. Oh, humid day with clear skies throughout the day with a high of 29 and a low of 16 Tomorrow, Wednesday, we'll have mostly clear skies in the morning with rain in the afternoon. Uh, we had already mentioned that rain, a chance of rain that is now of 37%, a high temperature of 28, and a low temperature of 19. And then on Thursday, we'll have mostly clear skies in the morning with mostly cloudy skies in the afternoon, a high of 27, and a low of 18. Moving right along. It is once again a time to let you know that Galleria Contempo is announcing another artist reception this coming Friday, this time featuring the work of Mexico City artist Miguel Lopez Vasquez, who creates um, these very beautiful and whimsical portraits uh, using a mostly pastel color palette. And this is truly beautiful work. And of course, this event happens on Friday evening, and it is part of the Los, uh, uh, the Emiliano Zapata um, Art Walk. So this event will be on Friday at 6 p.m. And for a chance, I think I might be able to make it because I will be attending a candle-making workshop earlier in the day in Colonia Emiliano Zapata. I will leave you information for this event in the show notes as usual. Then um, I was happy to see that the amazing Mexico Desconocido or Unknown Mexico website has published the most complete travel guide to the Maya train I've seen to date, focusing, of course, on the stretch of the route that is already open to the public. The guide includes a breakdown of the stops and their features, prices, schedules, and so forth. It is worth remembering that at present time, the Maya train is only operating the stretch that goes 
from Palenque to Cancun, as indicated on this map. And it is also worth remembering that um, this guide is published in Spanish, which brings me to a popular question. And I got this question again. How can I get coffee and headlines to open in English? I get this question rather frequently, and I'm happy to explain. Um, you don't get coffee and headlines show notes to open in English because given the fact that I, um, Spanish is the, the language that is speak spoken the most, the most predominant language in Mexico, um, most of the news sources that we reference here at Coffee and Headlines publish their news in Spanish. So we include them in Spanish just so you know that the news that we share come from a credible source. Now, what if you want to read these news? You have to use Google Translate on your browser so that Google Translate will translate these news items for you. Now, we have included this. I just edited um, our Frequently Asked Questions document uh, this morning, and I've included specific answers to this question in the show in the in the frequently asked questions page. Where you can find this page is on the top menu of our website, and I'll be so very happy to also include it in today's show notes. Now, here's another question that I got recently. This came from Colleen. Uh, who is watching today. Hello, Colleen. Uh, Colleen and her husband frequently attend my music appreciation presentations at the joint. And I'm paraphrasing her question here. Uh, how about a Guadalajara meet and greet before or after the symphony? Um, <clears throat> she's wondering if there are a lot of people who, like me, like to venture to Guadalajara for concerts and such, and whether I would entertain the idea of gathering of a gathering or going to the concerts together along with suggestions on places to stay and maybe a music appreciation quickie in Guadalajara on the stuff that is happening out over there. Well, let's get the cat out of the bag as I'm always happy to connect uh, at these performances with people that are friends that are attending and so forth. And I have... Um, done some research and I'm happy to share with you that the next time the stars align for my schedule in Guadalajara will be the weekend of Friday, March 23rd. You see the following day, um, the, on the following day, which is a Saturday, the Metropolitan Opera Company will broadcast Romeo and Juliet by Charles Gounod at the Santander Performing Arts Center. I've never seen this opera, and I can't hardly wait. Of course, it will be broadcast with Spanish subtitles, so if you want to do your homework and find out details about the synopsis of the opera, this will help you enjoy the opera should you wish to attend, and I will gladly leave you links to both the Metropolitan Opera info page on the opera, and also the Conjunto Santander's website should you wish to purchase tickets for this event. And then, of course, the following day, and this is what makes that weekend absolutely beautiful, the following afternoon, the Jalisco Philharmonic's matinee will be at Teatro de Goyado featuring Totten Friar by Gustav Mahler, which is a symphonic tone poem, which... Uh, from which a lot of thematic material was used later on for the composer's amazing second symphony. But the piece of resistance of the program is Mozart's Requiem, which will be massive and daunting and beautiful as it is scored for full orchestra, a large chorus, and four soloists, soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. So again, I will gladly share the link uh, pam pum, the link for this performance in case anybody is considering attending. And then as far as hotels and such, I've already published a list of Guadalajara-based resources with some of my favorite Facebook pages to stay in touch with what's going on in our capital city, favorite hotels, uh, favorite sources of information, and such. This list can be found in my Buy Me a Coffee page and is available for Coffee and Headlines subscribers 
only. I will gladly leave the link to this in the show notes as well. So there you have it. This is my answer to Colleen. So should you... Oh, I forgot. Finishing touch. Last but not least, I'm very much looking forward to my very first ever visit to the Guadalajara Zoo on that weekend. So there. So that's where I'll be. If we, if we cross paths in any of these three places, that would be wicked. Um, but the information is, is out there. I've many times said that Guadalajara is closer than you think, and it is just a great place. And I see that Colleen got her answer. Thank you, Colleen, for bringing up that interesting idea. Again, I have no idea how many people, how many people actually venture to concerts like I do, but if anybody else wants to do it, there's the information available at your disposal. And while we're having so many announcements, another reminder of the fact that we have a meet and greet coming up later on this month. This will be on Friday, February 23rd from 6 to 8 at Whiskey Kitchen as usual. I hope to see you there. And now, let's see what you guys are up to. do de doo dee doo And we start with good mornings. Good mornings and more good mornings. I love to read those. Uh, let's see. As I mentioned before, I'm looking for cues or interesting comments. Da -da 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 -da. -dum -pum 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 -pum. There is a cue. Where is Luna hiding? Luna is not hiding. She is right down there keeping me company as she always does uh let's see boom 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 oh my god Some of your comments among yourselves make so little sense to me because I'm not following your conversations in real time. But this one seems to me make sense to me. I will be in Guadalajara the same weekend to see LCD sound system. I don't know what that is, Pat. Um, do, 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 do let me know because if you're going to be in Guadalajara, it would be great to cross paths with you there. Uh, let's see. Boom, 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 boom. We have a hello from Carmen. I hope your your latest uh, a public dinner was successful. We always love to talk about those because the food is always exemplary. And um, I think this brings us to the end of the comments. I don't see any other cues, but as always, I'm grateful to share information with you. I'm grateful to read what you're up to. And once again, if you happen to be in Guadalajara on that weekend, uh, oh, I see, LCD Sound System is a band. Ooh, do tell me what that is about. Or if not, I'll do some research on my own. Anyhow, this is Coffee and Headlines for today. I hope you had a good time. I had a great time as always. And tomorrow, Hump Day, we'll be working on more content, more ideas, more stories for your amusement. As always, I thank you for your ongoing support at buymeacoffee.com forward slash Ojeda Paco. And I look forward to seeing you sometime soon. Take care. <laughs>